guys, today I'm going to talk to you about my 2023 wish list, and it's a bit more all encompassing. It's not just about bags, but I want it to be a little bit more inclusive. What I've really been eyeing more holistically. So let's get started. So the first thing on my 2023 wish list is a girls trip, and I'm actually talking to one of my girlfriends about it sometime this week, and hopefully planning something. And getting something on the calendar i really feel like it's a true luxury to be able to get away just with one of your friends go somewhere new and different get away from adult life and sort of your mom life and whatever other responsibilities that you have on a day-to-day -day basis and just do something different and feel free and that's something that i'm really looking forward to in 2023 so hopefully that's something that will materialize this year and will come true on my wish list. The second thing I'm eyeing on my 2023 wish list is a Louis Vuitton Alma BB bag. Not just any Alma BB bag. I'm looking for the Vernie leather in the Amarant color, which is kind of like, uh, well, the Vernie leather is the patent leather and it's the Amarant color is kind of an old school color that was very popular like 15 maybe 20 years ago that it's I don't even know if they make it anymore but it's kind of like a very dark eggplant color could also look a little bit dark maroonish in depending on the light and so I know it's kind of not in fashion um, and not trendy but I never really go for the trendy bags anyway so I'm not concerned about that so much I'm more concerned about I'm not sure if they make this bag anymore I have looked on the website I've seen it on and off the website so I'm not sure if it's a glitch or what or if they make it anymore but I will be keeping my eye out for that considering I've been loving this bag for the last 15 years I think it's safe to say that it's something that I will continue to love even 15 years from now if I if I do get it, but I will be stalking the website and seeing if I can get my hands on that, if indeed they still do make it. So we'll see. On the topic of LV, I'm also eyeing a bomber jacket. Jackets in general is kind of my weakness, also handbags, but jackets and coats and outerwear, I just love them. And I do love a good bomber jacket. I have Plenty in my closet so it's not like I need one but I do love uh, the one that they have now which is currently sold out so I don't think that I'll ever get it because it's sold out but also the price tag is kind of stupid and so I just think it's more of a fantasy wish list than it is a realistic wish I just don't think that I could drop that kind of money on a bomber jacket I also think of it from the perspective of can I wear this when I'm 65 years old? And I just don't know that I'll be wearing a bomber jacket when I'm 65. Not that you can't, I just don't know that I, I can't say for sure that I will. And especially if I have other bomber jackets, maybe when I'm 65 or 70, I'll be walking around with another one. And so maybe that's kind of like a nice to have if, if somehow I got my hands on it some way. Um, then maybe I would consider it, but probably not realistic, but nonetheless still on my luxury wish list. The other thing on my wish list is a made to order Bulgari bag. Bulgari is not a brand that I've really explored that much or know that much about. I've seen a video from Romina Rose May who did one about made to order bags in specific I believe it was the Serpenti bag so that to me were was just so so gorgeous so beautiful so different so unique and not something that anyone would have especially if it's made to order obviously anything customizable is really cool to me uh, but I just had a really new appreciation for that brand and that bag um, unfortunately, I don't have a Bulgari store near me, so it's not something that I think that would ever happen in the near term, but if I were ever to visit another city that had a Bulgari store that also offered a made-to-order, that's something that I probably would explore. So 
it's something that's definitely on my wish list when I travel um, and go somewhere that has that store and option. So that's another one. And switching gears a little bit is another thing that's on my luxury wish list is better mental health this year. I think that that's something that we all tend to overlook a bit, we take for granted. And I think that I'm always on a journey to continuously um, improve my mental health. I wanna make more effort in caring less about what other people think. And I want to focus more on the positive things in my life and the positive influences in my life. And, um, and learning how to do that better. I also wanna to learn to speak less and listen more. I want to be more open-minded about things. And, um, you know, I think those are sort of the things that I want to nurture more in 2023. One of my favorite ways of learning is through audiobooks and through podcast, different podcasts. And so uh, continuing to do that more in 2023, I think mental health is just such a luxury that no one really thinks about. And I think if we all did a little bit better in, at least for myself, I put a little bit more effort into my mental health. I think that's a real luxury in 2023 and beyond. So that's my list for this year and we'll see if any of them materialize. Hopefully at least a girl's trip will. Hopefully the Elma BB bag, definitely the mental health thing, but that's a journey. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please check out some of my other videos and I hope to see you soon. Thanks, bye.